the Phantom Hive Manor. My name is Sebastian Michaelis, and I will be serving and attending to you while you sit back and relax. It has become apparent to me, in my recent observations of humanity, that a certain type of sensation known as ASMR, or Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, is somewhat searched for and sought after. And so, as part of my unending search to become the best butler I can be, I shall be attempting to elicit this response from you, our esteemed guest. However, I understand that some people take a rather strong dislike to this sort of thing, which of course is fine. Everybody is different, but I would advise you, if you are one of those people, to proceed with caution and to not put yourself under any unnecessary discomfort for the sake of this interaction. I hope that we shall meet again under better circumstances. Now, to begin, firstly, may I take your coat? The weather is so unpredictable this time of year, is it not? It's always wise to carry an overcoat. Ah, I see that you own a cat. I really wish the young lord wasn't so allergic. I would love to have a cat of my own. I'm just going to hang this up for you. There we are. Now, feel free to sit wherever you feel most comfortable. Yes, of course, that's perfect. May I offer you some tea? We have a wide selection. Earl Grey. An excellent choice. I'll be right back. Here we are. Now, let me pour it for you. Do you take milk? Ah, I see. Sugar? Very good. Oh dear. I had no idea the flowers had wilted. I'm so sorry you had to see this. I'll refresh them immediately. I've made a selection of some seasonal flowers from the grounds. I hope they will be satisfactory. Let me just cut them to size. Oh dear, look at the leaves on this one. I shall have to remove most of these. These leaves have the most incredible texture on them. Almost like little hairs. Can you hear that? So sorry about earlier. I feel quite ashamed. I'll put these next to your tea. Is there anything else you require at this time? Not at present? Very well. I shall still be here to fulfill any need that you desire. But, if you'll forgive me, I do have quite a few chores to attend to in this room. I hope I shall not disturb you. What chores, you ask? Well, 
if you are interested. First, I have to sort all the washing that I left out to dry in the grounds earlier today. Just so Mayrin doesn't make any drastic mistakes again. I have to make sure they're put in very distinct piles to be ironed. I don't want to go into it. But let's just say that there was a strong smell of burning from the laundry room last time. I have to sort everything into piles. This is a silk waistcoat. I have to make sure that it won't be mixed in with the linen or the cotton. For other things such as bedclothes, they are usually cottons and as such are a little more forgiving. Silk must be handled with care. I always find that clothes dried upon the line outside take on such an irresistible scent, especially in this season of freshly cut grass and cherry blossoms. The young lord always seems to sleep more soundly when his bed linen has been dried outside. Humans are curious creatures. Ah, oh, there's so much ironing to do later, and I know I'll have to take over from Mayrin. <laughs> but there's no need for me to bore you with such conversation. Oh, you enjoy my conversation? Well, I will continue then. I must apologize that my young lord isn't here to greet you at this time. He is somewhat caught up in some quite important business, but... He told me to make sure you had all the comforts you needed. Well, that's all the clothes sorted. Now, next on the agenda is making sure that these glasses are as clean as they can be for the dinner tonight. I understand you'll be attending. I see. What outfit have you got planned for this evening? Your fashion sense is, if I may be so bold, Exceptional. Please tell me about it. Ah. Hmm. I see. The young lord will be interested. He's always quite jealous of your ensembles. But don't tell him I told you that. Marvellous. I will need to prepare dinner quite soon. We have quite the feast planned, and so many guests. I will have to make sure every utensil is sparkling clean. Nobody wants to eat with dull cutlery now, do they? There's nothing quite like vinegar for shining up your silver. you're enjoying it. It's the young lord's favourite blend too. Now, can I get you anything to eat? Ah, I see. Saving yourself for tonight's dinner. Quite wise. I'm so sorry. If you'll excuse me. Look, I was told to give you this. No, nothing about it. There you go. I see. Thank you. I'm terribly sorry about that interruption. There was a man at the door with a letter. And I really must open it. Oh dear. Oh goodness. 
This won't do at all. I'm terribly sorry, but I must leave you again. It is imperative I show this to the young lord. Please excuse me. Oh my! Othello, can you see who's in there? Who is that? I've never seen them around before. Come on, let's knock on the door. Do you think they let us in this time? Oh, don't be such a spoiled sport. I'm going. once again. Some unwelcome news followed by an even more unwelcomed visitor. Nothing I can't handle. But I must tell you, and you absolutely must keep this between you, me, and the young lord. Our dinner party tonight may be a little bit more exciting than we first predicted. Be on your guard. But fear not. We have dealt with much worse. This will be a mere trifle. Oh, the unwelcome visitor, you ask? Well, I don't want to go into too much detail, but they were inquiring after you. Don't worry. We respect the privacy of our guests. They won't get any information out of me. That particular visitor always seems to be more curiously interested in attractive strangers such as yourself. But don't worry, they won't touch you. You're safe here. You wish to retire? Of course. Much preparation is needed before dinner tonight. Your room is all made up, and your luggage has been taken up and laid out for you. And I promise you, the dinner this evening, despite its little distractions, shall we say, will be a night to remember. I can assure you that. But until then, feel free to call upon me whenever you may need something. It is an honor to serve you. I very much hope you enjoyed this first ever Sebastian Michaelis ASMR by myself, Victor. Wow, my voice, I don't even remember how to do my normal voice now. It's gonna be interesting. <coughs> Maybe I should just stay in Sebastian. Should I stay in Sebastian? Sebastian's a little more, you know, upper class and cool and... It's just me, you know, like my, my normal voice is, is kind of boring. So uh, let's go back to, uh, why am I? The amount of leaves that are on the ground here. I swear to God. All those leaves I took off those flowers, they're everywhere and I keep stepping on them. I, I've quickly lost the butler uh, aesthetic here. The butler, the butler aesthetic. Let's go back to the butler aesthetic, shall we? If you like this and you'd like to see more, please leave a like, leave a comment. And let me know exactly what themes you would like to see in future ASMR videos, if any. If you don't enjoy it, that's perfectly all right as well. It's very hard to whisper in Sebastian's voice, but it's a little easier to talk in the normal way of talking as Sebastian. I don't know if I should have done this for the whole thing. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you want me to speak louder like this, or if you like it more soft like that, like I've been doing for this video. I'm very new to this. This is the first ever ASMR video I've ever done, so I have no idea if this sucks. But, for now, thank you all so much for watching and listening, and I will see you very soon.
I've made a selection of some seasonal flowers from the garden. Here, our dinner party tonight. Sebastian McKeel's our dinner party. It's getting water all over my gloves. That's great. What do I actually say in the script? I'm terribly sorry about that interruption. A man was at a door. Was that a door? Was that a door? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I hope these will be satisfactory. Let me just cut them to size. I'm terribly sorry about that. A man was at a door. Uh, uh, Sebastian McKeelis. Uh, I'm terribly sorry about that interruption. Yeah. I've never done this before. I've made a selection of fresh seasonal flowers from the garden. It's not bloody sharp enough. From the grounds. My name. My name is Sebastian McGillis. My name. My name. My name. Sebastian. <sighs> I keep worrying that I'm not doing Sebastian's voice. Oh, that was a bit loud. Hello, friends. My name is Sebastian Michaelis. My name is Sebastian Michaelis. Yeah, really? Is it? Is it? See, that's more like it. Oh God, why can't I do that all the time? That particular visitor always seemed to... That particular visitor... Oh my God, my voice. Mm, 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 mm. Now only... Now? I shall still be here to... Sebastian Michaelis, Michaelis, Sebastian Michaelis, why have I lost the accent? Maybe a little bit more exciting than initially prepared. This is hurting my throat. Sebastian, why is whispering so hard? Yeah.